science one plants living and surviving one plants living and surviving in this chapter you will learn about classification of plants according to their habitat how plants are affected by their surroundings how plants of the grass family are useful to us insectivorous plants rainforest we see a number of plants and animals around us if you observe carefully you will find that certain plants and animals are found only in some particular places for example you will never find a lotus plant on land or a cactus in water some plants grow in dark and damp places but others prefer the bright sunlight some grow well on the cold mountains while others prefer the hot desert many plants grow even in water plants differ from each other depending on the place where they grow terrestrial plants terrestrial plants are those that grow on land there are different types of terrestrial plants in hilly areas which is generally cold trees are tall and straight they normally do have big branches they have needle like leaves pine fir cedar deodar spruce etc are such trees these trees bear cones instead of flowers these trees have leaves throughout the year their leaves do not fall off in autumn they are also called evergreen trees spruce trees are found in very cold places in the plain trees have a number of branches these trees shed their leaves in autumn they are called deciduous trees teak babul palas flame of the forest and sesame are the common trees grown in plains in hot and damp areas trees have lots of leaves but they do not shed their leaves in winter they remain evergreen like the teak and coconut tree some other plants that grow in such places are pepper rubber sugarcane rice and cotton in desert there is very little water plants that grow in desert save water cactus is a desert plant it stores water in its thick fleshy stem the leaves of such plants are reduced to spines very little water is sent into the air through such narrow leaves their roots can go deep into the earth to get water In marshy area the soil is clay 
and sticky and soaked in water. This area is usually found near seashore where river flows into the sea. The plants that grow in marshes are called mangroves. Since the soil is full of water, the root do not get air to breathe. Hence, the plants develop breathing roots which grow above the soil in order to breathe. Candelia and caryops are mangroves. Aquatic plants Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. They are of three types, floating, fixed and underwater. Floating plants These plants float freely on the surface of ponds and lakes. They usually have spongy bodies filled with air. This makes them light and so they float. Duckweed, Wolfia, Piscia and water hyacinth are floating plants. Green algae are also small thread-like floating plants. Fixed plants The roots of some plants are fixed to the soil at the bottom of the pond. These plants are called fixed plants. These plants have hollow, light and flexible stems and so they can bend in the direction of the flowing water. This prevents them from getting damaged or uprooted by the flowing water. These plants have broad leaves and flowers which float on the surface of water. Lotus and water lily are fixed plants. Underwater plants These plants remain completely underwater. They are also known as submerged plants. Roots of these plants are fixed to the bottom of water bodies. They have narrow ribbon like leaves which do not have any stomata. They breathe through their stems. These plants clean the water by removing carbon dioxide that is breathed out by fish etc. Hence, we grow such plants in aquarium. Pondweed, Valicinaria and tape grass are underwater plants. Plants of the grass family Cereals plants belong to the grass family of the plant kingdom. These plants are useful to us. They provide food for humans and animals. Wheat, rice, jowar, bajra, sugar and fodder are obtained from plants of the grass family. Paper was first made by the people of Egypt from a grass called papyrus. From papyrus comes the word paper. Different kinds of grasses are used to make different types of paper. Bamboo plants belong to the grass family. Bamboo is used for making brooms, baskets, chairs, mats, curtains, toys, and huts. Bamboo shoots have a high nutritional value and are very rich in vitamins, cellulose, and amino acids. In many parts of India, especially in the Northeast, they are used to prepare tasty dishes. We get medicines from some plants of the grass family. Dried grass is used as packing material. The roots of the plants of the grass family help to conserve the soil. Insectivorous plants Insectivorous plants are usually green, so they can make their own food. But the soil in which they grow 
does not contain some minerals. Hence, these plants trap insects to get enough nutrition. Pitcher plant and peanut fly trap are insectivorous plants. In Venus fly trap, there are short hair on the inside of the leaf. When an insect touches the hair, the two halves of the leaves suddenly shut in less than a second and trap the insect inside. Rainforests Rainforests are found near the equator. They are hot and wet forests. In rainforests, both the tall and short trees with lots of climbers are found. The ground of the forest is covered with leaves, ferns and fungi. The thick growth of leaves creates dark area having an umbrella like shape. A wide variety of animals are found here. Roundup we see a number of plants and animals around us. Terrestrial plants are those that grow on land. Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. Plants of grass family are useful to us. Insectivorous plants trap insects to get nutrients. Rainforests are hot and wet forests. 